Hi, I'm Jess Hayden, and on behalf of Susquehanna Folk Music Society, I'd like to welcome you to our final session of today's Lamentations and Laughter, the Songs of Ulster in Ireland. Uh, if you've been on all day, you know that today's residency is the third in a series called Artist to Artist that pairs local artists with artists from afar for a day of mutual learning and discovery. We're grateful for funding from the National Endowment for the Arts. Susquehanna Folk Music Society is located in the Harrisburg, Pennsylvania area. We sponsor concert dances, jams and coffee houses, and the Susquehanna Folk Festival in the summer. Learn about our events at susquehannafolk.org. Now, a little housekeeping. During the program, we ask you to keep yourself on mute, and we suggest that you watch using speaker view. For those of you that are interested, caption is available. Just click on the CC button in the menu at the bottom of the screen, and the lyrics of many of the songs performed today can be found at the Susquehanna Folk Music Society website. Also, today's session will be recorded and accessible on our website. So for our final session, we have Seamus Carmichael, Dahi Sparol, and Mairead Niwini. And we're going to ask Seamus to kick it off. He'll be uh, leading the session today. So we'll get him on. And oops, I guess he's just, and then we'll go from there. Great. Thank all right. You. Thank you, Jess, for the introductions. And uh, thank you all for attending this. It's been a pleasure and a privilege for me anyway to uh, hang out with uh, you know two of my musical idols here <laughs> Maria and Di <laughs> and, uh, you know, and, and in all seriousness uh, uh, you know Maria and Dahi, you've provided me with uh, a bunch of the songs that I use in my general repertoire and uh, I thank you uh, for that as well. Uh, <laughs> I, may, I may change the way they're sung, but uh, you you pointed me at the songs anyway, and uh, the songs are the things that that we're here to celebrate. So um, I guess having said that, um, I should probably uh, start things off <clears throat> with uh, one of those songs that we were talking about, and. Um, um, the one I'm going to start off with is, is a song that is very uh, local to me. Um, it's a song from uh, South Derry, where I grew up. And um, <clears throat> I am walking out any morning from my front door. I would see the, uh, the hill above me, Steve Gallion. And um, this is a, an immigration song. Uh, from South Derry. Uh, it mentions places that, you know, Maraid was talking about familiarity of places within the songs that she grew up with. And this one is Sleeve Gallion's Braise. It mentions Bell on the Screen, Listen, who are adjacent parishes to the parish that I grew up in, in um, County Derry in the South of, uh, South Derry. <coughs> uh, as I... <clears throat> As I went a walking one morning in May to view yon fair valleys and mountains so gay, I was thinking on the flowers all a going to decay. That grows around ye bunny, bunny, sleeve gallion braise. My name is Joe McGarvey, as you may understand. I come from Derry Ginnet, where I owned a farm of land. But the rents were getting higher. There I could no longer stay. So farewell unto ye bunny, bunny, sleeve gallion braise. It's oft I have wambled with my dog and my gun. I've roamed through these valleys for sport and for fun. But 
those days are now all over. There I can no longer stray. So farewell unto ye bunny bunny, sleeve gallion braves. It's oft of an evening with the sun all in the west. I roam hand in hand with the one I love the best. But the joys of youth have vanished, and she is far away. So farewell unto ye bunny bunny, sleeve gallion braves. It's not for the want of employment at home that causes the sons of dear old Ireland to roam. It's them tyrannizing landlords, well, they would not let me stay. So farewell unto ye bunny bunny, sleeve gallion braves. Farewell to all Ireland, that land that is so green. To the parish of Listen and across at Ballinus Green. May good fortune shine upon you when I am far away. And a long farewell to Bunny Bunny. Sleeve gallions braves. There you go. Lovely. Yeah, hey, you can take it to the other side That's of Derry lovely. now. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, will I do one? Sure. Yeah. You might as well keep Derry going there. <laughs> yes, you can't do too much of Derry, you know, I've noticed that. Too much Derry, <laughs> it's a contradiction in terms. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> but Seamus had an anecdote this morning about you know his his mother, him hearing the song was it you, you heard a song from a group and then you discovered your mother sang the song was that the idea? Yeah, and it, it, uh, was, <clears throat> it was it was it was a song that I heard Silly Wizard do. Uh, oh uh, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Um, what what and, song uh, was it, Seamus? It was um, if I were a blackbird. Oh yeah, and, oh lovely. Uh, and my mother sang a version, but she didn't use all the same verses as uh, yeah. uh, were in the uh, the version that uh, Andy M. Stewart and Silly Wizard did. But it was the same song and more or less yeah. the same story, you know. And she she used the the male version of it as well, which I thought was kind of yeah. odd uh, that she was a young sailor uh, rather than because I've heard a, a version where it's the the girl is the uh, the protagonist in the song. Huh. Well, that reminded me of this song. I, 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 there's a song I'm really fond of, and I've, I, um, I heard it. I thought I had heard it first from a recording of Kevin Mitchell. I told this story last night at the gig I did, but um, I got this Kevin Mitchell album, and I was it just, it was just wonderful. So I learned, I was learning the the Lurgy Stream from that, or the Lurgy Stream, as they called it, said in Derry, and. Um, so I was back in Derry, you know, a few weeks after that there, and I was at the kitchen sink with my mother. Uh, we were chatting and washing dishes. And all of a sudden she started, she sang a line out of the song that I just learned off the Kevin Mitchell album. And I said, I just, I just was learning that song. And she said, what do you mean? Sure, that's <laughs> your father. Your father sang that song. And I honestly, I, never, I, didn't, I didn't remember ever hearing my elder sister, Nula remembers him singing it. So what happened was, uh, you know, the Kevin Mitchell melody was gorgeous, and I've sung that a lot. And then I, ma I made up a melody, which Mairead sang yes, with Alton to the Lurgy Stream. But what I, I thought uh, I'll, I'll sing this, the melody that my father apparently had, the same same words. Um, and we, we just love the local references in this song. Um, 
Went to this country first, I came my mind from love was free. And the charms of the female sex had not enticed me. There I beheld a beauty bright, who set my heart aflame. Her dark brown hair blows in the air along by the lurky stream. Twas on a Tuesday evening my love I chanced to meet. I <coughs> took her in my arms and I gave her kisses sweet. I asked her if she would marry me or single still remain. Or if she would cross the seas and leave a lurgy stream. This fair maid she did answer her love she couldn't hide. Saying I have no objections, young man to be your bride. And leave my parents' happy home, where joy and mirth do ring. Yes, I would go along with you and leave a lurgy stream. But if I should cross over the seas with you, I might get lots of pain. You might fall in love with some other fair maid and leave me here in pain. Young men are false in general, perhaps you are the same. But I would cross over the seas with you and leave a lurgy stream. So farewell to letter Kenny Town, likewise Loch Swilly Shore, where many's the happy hour I spent, will I e'er see thee more. And twice farewell to old Argash, where oft times I have been. Likewise to Kilmacrenan in town that lies by the Lurgy stream. Ooh, that's it's gorgeous, Dahi. Lovely. Very nothing much nice happens. Song <laughs> <laughs> in which nothing happens. <laughs> well, sometimes you're listening to your parents, and sometimes you're not listening to your parents. <laughs> I know. Yeah. That's it. But um. Well, in, in my tradition, we did sing in English as well. So I might sing you a, an English song that uh, came from an aunt, uh, uh, Annie, Annie Mooney. Her, her married name was Diver. And uh, her daughter still sings a lot. But Annie used to write the songs down with uh, using black blackberry ink. So her daughter still has the the songs the english songs that you she wrote down from the old people with the blackberry ink but it's fading very fast so we're trying to <laughs> preserve it and uh, one of the songs was um the factory girl um that she wrote down and it's a lovely version of it so i'll, I'll just try and sing this because in the guilt art areas a, a lot of the singers would sing a good song they didn't mind if it was whichever language it was in so i'll try and sing this one as Mary, as Mary was sitting, oh yeah, as Mary was sitting out in her garden, a gentleman he came passing by. He stood and viewed her, and then said to her. 
Pretty fair maid, would you fancy I? Oh, fancy you, sir, a man of honour, a man of honour you seem to be. And sure, <coughs> what am I? But a factory girl, sir, a factory girl I intend to be. For seven years I had a sweetheart. And seven more since I did him see, and seven more I will wait upon him. Perhaps that young man I might never see. If he's sick, I wish him better. And if he's dead, I wish him rest. But for his sake, I will wait no for he's the wee lad I do know best. He put his hand into his pocket, his lily white fingers being thin and small. He took out a ring that was bent and broken, and when she saw it, she downed it for. <coughs> he took her up into his arms and gave her kisses most tenderly saying i am your true love your single sailor came back from seas for to wed with thee if you're my true love <coughs> my single sailor your face and features they are all gone but then seven years make great alterations to the raging seas between you and I that's it. Woohoo! <laughs> That's a long one. I'm wrecked. <laughs> Another version of the uh, Maiden of Father's Garden song. That's it. That's yeah. it. Yeah. That's the one. Yeah, there's, there's, there's plenty of those around. Um, mm. <clears throat> as I was saying earlier in, in, in uh, when I was talking about uh, uh, traditional music and traditional song, um, we're, you know, we're all part of a tradition, but we're continuing it every, you know, all three of us have written songs in the tradition. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to foist one of the ones that I 
uh, have written uh, upon you. Uh, again, it's a, a, an emigration song that has a, a personal connection to me. Um, <clears throat> my father's uh, cousin, Jim Mackerlane, um, he left for America in 1957 and um, he left behind his sweetheart um, and uh, he worked in America for five years and in uh, 1962 he came back to uh, to Ireland and asked Peggy O'Neill to marry him and uh, they went back to Philadelphia and lived happily ever after and uh, I uh, the the refrain of the song came to me just out of the blue and it was kind of like this uh, voice of a, a, a an abandoned girl you know that uh, you know just resonated in me and it's like how can I put this to uh, you know a, a bit of a story and then I remembered Jim's life story and I actually sang it to him at his 90th birthday in Philadelphia uh, which was, was a, a nice way to kind of close the circle out. Great. <clears throat> it's called uh, by Myola's stream. The Myola is a river that runs into Loch Ney uh, near Tomb Bridge. And uh, um, the brook that's mentioned in it is the area around the banks of the Myola um, in that area. Brook means literally a, a river bank mm. in, in Irish. As I rambled one evening by Myola's stream to view her fair valleys and tang so gay i heard a maiden lamenting nearby lamenting her fate with many a sigh how can you leave me to ramble and roam here abandoned and all on my own my eyes fill with tears at the end of the day have you never a thought for the things that you say? Her words, they shook me so sad and so true. For there's many's a girl just like her I knew. And here in the broch, many more I could find whose brothers and sweethearts have left them behind. How can you leave me to ramble and roam here abandoned and all on my own my eyes fill with tears at the end of the day have you never a thought for the things that you say i mind well the days when i worked in the fields cutting hay pulling keel putting spuds into creels but apprenticed I was to the plumbing trade, and America offered far more than I made. How can you leave me to ramble and roam, here abandoned and all on my own? My eyes fill with tears at the end of the day. Have you never a thought for the things that you say. It's a long way from Broad Street to this narrow lane, to the girl that I left in such sorrow and pain. But I saved me money to build her a home. And if Peggy will have me, I'll make her my own. I never left you to ramble and roam many's a night i was sad and alone but here i am now for to take you away and with your hand in mine we will face the new day Jenny? Ooh. gorgeous that's a lovely song fair play to you Thank you. It's a great song. So, well, Dahi has written many much better than that. Yeah. <laughs> it's a lovely song, though. It's very yeah. nice. Thanks. So, Dahi, are you ready to come up with one of your own or one of uh, 
your collection? Well, like I could, yeah. Uh, are, are we going to ask people whether they want to sing one of the others too? Yeah, we will. Maybe, maybe they should prepare themselves psychologically to be pounced upon. <laughs> Yeah, so <laughs> after we finish, <laughs> after we finish this round, after Maria's finished, uh, anybody in our um, in our singing audience that wants to volunteer a song is welcome to throw one in there. Oh, that would be lovely. Yeah, that would be lovely. So I'll try one with the guitar. This is, um, you know, it's very hard to pick out one or two songs is the hardest thing in the world. So I'm still thinking about, you know, trying to think ones of very close connections, you know. And this is one, uh, a very rare song. It's actually a poem called Douglas Bridge or the Ballad of Douglas Bridge. And uh, I heard it as a teenager and uh, from a friend of mine, Frank Shields in Derry, and then forgot all about it. And <clears throat> decades later, I remembered the first couple of lines and I did a search for it. And that's where I discovered that it was written by this poet called Francis Carlin. But then it was a poem, it wasn't a song. And so I wrote to my friend and uh, said, I kind of had a feeling then he must have made up the melody and he did make up the melody. So it's a very unusual kind of ghost story song um, that again is mentioned Straban. Uh, any song that mentions Straban can't be a bad song. So I hardly ever sing it. Um, we used to, we, we, I sang it a bit a few years ago. Anyhow, here we go. I'll give it a whirl. On Douglas Bridge I met a man Who lived adjacent to Straban Before the English hung him high For riding with O'Hanlon The eye of him were just as fresh as when they burned within the flesh and his boot legs were wide apart from riding with O'Hanlon God save you sir I said with fear you seem to be a stranger not I, said he, nor any man who rides with Count O'Hanlon. I know each glen from north to Rome, to Monaghan, and I've been known by every clan and parish since I rode with Count O'Hanlon. Before that time he said to me, my father's own the land you see, but now they are among the moors, are riding with O'Hanlon. Before that time said he with pride my father rode where now they ride as rapparees before the time of troubles and no good night to you and god be with the tellers of the tale and myth, for they are of the spirit stuff that rides with Count O'Hanlon. Good night to you, said I, and God be with the chargers fairy shod that bear the Ulster heroes forth to ride with Count O'Hanlon. On Douglas Bridge we parted, but the gap of dreams is never shut to one who's saddled soul 
tonight Rides out with kind Lovely. I love the gap of dreams line in there. It sounds familiar there. <laughs> yeah, that's where we got that. Uh -huh. it's, a fantastic, it's a fantastic verse. You know, it's just. Yeah, it is very well written. It, you know, it's it's a, a historical and it's a ghosty thing. But then that that verse or two at the end raises it up to another level. Yeah. And makes yeah. it a very, very spiritual uh, story altogether. Yeah. It's great. Yeah, that's uh I mean, one of the, one of the reasons that we keep singing songs like these are are because of lines like that in them. I mean, you'll not sing a song a lot unless it has poetic resonance with you, uh, and uh, and that that's definitely the case with that. Mm, that's right. Where well, you go, Mairead? Yeah, well, that has always been an inspiration for it. But I'm going to uh, do one with the fiddle. This is a. A song I got from my neighbour, Brian Danny Minnie. His name is Brian O'Donnell. He's a <clears throat> fantastic chef as well. But he has a restaurant very close to here. But, um, a man it's, worth it's, knowing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man worth knowing is right. And he's a gorgeous singer and flute player. But he, he came up with this version of Baina Hamoira Hagundailair. And it's oh, okay. one of these songs that's uh, you know, sung in every school um, in Ireland, but this is a different version. And he told me he got it from some neighbor of his when he was living in Dublin. So it's, it's a lovely version of it actually. So I'll just do it with the fiddle, just for variety we'll say. <laughs> I mean, it's a, it's a lovely rhythmic thing, regardless of which melody you sing it to. There. Yes, it's uh, it's it's a it's a great song of a, a woman. Uh, she's telling her daughter not to marry because she's too young. You're only ten. You have or, to wait to thirteen. <laughs> wait, wait till you're thirteen at least. Then you're. 
I, I told you all my songs are not politically correct. <laughs> <laughs> so child marriage is being only slightly accepted yeah, there. <laughs> that's it. That's right. Well, uh, we, we've come to that part of our uh, afternoon where we're going to invite anybody that has the nerve to uh, put their hand up. And so if you use the little reactions uh, icon down at the bottom of your uh, grid there, and if you're in the mood for sharing one of us, all you need to do is do this. Put up your hand. So uh, that's, uh, I'm going to look for, uh, what a surprise. Alice, would Woo! you sing us one? <laughs> yes, Alice. Great. Let me see. Can you unmute yourself, Alice? Oh, okay, uh -huh. here. Yep, I already have. So believe it or not, I have an Ulster song. Um, Woo! All, all of these wonderful uh, uh, sessions I've been going to online, I've been going to one in Belfast off and on. And uh, even though I'm from you know, my father was from Belfast. Most of the songs I learned growing up were Percy French songs, not any, you know, particular Ulster songs. So I learned this song from a wonderful woman, Mairead Walls, who's actually from right near Glenone in Derry. So uh, I got this song from her and this is Glenone. <clears throat> One eve as I roamed in the gloaming, taking life at it as it came at its best. On the paths I had trod in my childhood, as the sun sank away in the west. Springtime with her sweet was returning, as each warbler piped forth in full tone but amidst all this joy i felt weary and i sighed saying where is glenon glenon was an old-fashioned village and it stood at the top of a hill where the road took a turn for Balahi, down the valley past Anticker Mill. But it's gone from that hilltop forever. To my vision, there's scarcely a stone remaining to refresh my sweet memory of that spot known to all as Glenon. In my dreams, I still see their wee cabins overlooking yon meadow serene, where we sang the love songs of old Erin, and we danced with the maids on the green. No sorrow or cares could disturb me, as in these bygones I wandered alone. For when the lords in their castles ignored me, I had always a friend in Glenon. But that was way back in the twenties, and time has wrought wonders since then. We have spaceships that circle the planet, and the moon habitation for men. We have boys from the dull in great splendor, causing tractors and dozers to moan, to make way for the fast moving traffic as they tumble down ancient Glenon. If its natives came back, they would wonder in thoughts that would grieve them most sore. For to see their wee dwellings demolished by the foothills of dark Carrickmore. I can imagine 
their words of amazement as they gaze on that heavenly zone. These words on their lips would be the parting. Fare thee well, and God bless you, Glenon. My who? My who, indeed. Hey, <laughs> me your, your, your Glenon song, uh, I mean, I'm from that area, and you mentioned Balahi in it, which is yes. where my mother came from. And uh, the, the, the Glen Owen I know is Port Glen Owen. Right. Uh, so yeah. I, it may have been that actual time but, that they were mentioning. But, actually, uh, the song, Marait said the song was only written about oh, it's a recent song. 15 yeah. years ago. Yeah, it's a recent and song. And it was originally, the town was Port Glen Owen, uh -huh. but then it was renamed and it, it actually was no longer a town, but a village. Yeah. And because of the population, mm -hmm size and like half the town actually was sold off to a developer and it yeah, was just yeah. horrible in the area and that's part of the reason that this song was actually written for a campaign to try and preserve some oh, of the yeah. buildings yeah. in that area well if you're if, if anybody uh, from the north of ireland is is listening there um mm -hmm. we can recommend quite near port Lenon is a great session pub called the cross keys which uh, keys, I'm, I'm yeah, sure I'm right. sure Marie and Dahi have uh, experience of the cross keys there. <laughs> <laughs> fine, fine spot for music. So yeah, usually if the song mentions a spaceships, it's it's fairly recent. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I thought it was very apropos considering uh, you know that we just shot Captain Kirk into space finally. That's right. Very good. Very very good. That was a clue. It, so it was a double. It was it was, it was a double uh, edged double. chord there. That song. Yeah. Anybody else uh, want to share a song with us there? And put up your your little hand. Go on, John Reed. You, you are you going to re sing? Who's... Well, I can uh, try and do the first stanza of Anansi Le Gras. Good. Okay. Go for it, John. Anansi Vila Gra of Renew Tog on Small Go Vecchi Mish and Tau Gusan Shane Ort Bo Yele Do Yo Lao Nak Ugal Natra Nanyala si sna erdanya is glasha lam da hu na bri bug de drood is binya lam sa hu na che adi. Smornyali tu salam sa chichi me landu. Gus quarter in sin do ye me. You man, John. Yourself. Fantastic. That's good, good, uh, good pronunciations to John. There you go. Uh, yeah, I, I, I thought about singing some songs in Gaelic, but I was kind of nervous about my pronunciation of so many years. Oh, don't the, be. So so many don't years out of the guilt act here. Don't be silly. <laughs> I think the more people recorded that. And so I tried to copy her. <laughs> Very good. All right. So uh, no. we're, we're running down to the end of our 45 minutes here, folks. And sad to say, we may have to leave you all um the uh uh the the last thanks of the evening must go to uh maria dandahi for Thank joining you. us and uh to jess and all the folks at uh susquehanna folk music society for hosting this uh you know banquet of songs that we've had all day and uh uh may it happen again and soon 
but I, I've always got Alice as well to go back to on a Thursday evening. Uh, <laughs> so if anybody else feels like joining the uh, Sunnyside Singers Group, you know, you could, uh, you know, make yourself known to Alice Farrell Perlman, and uh, she's not shy about uh, sharing your uh, uh, links for singing online on a Thursday evening, uh, US time, starting at seven, is it these days, Alice? On East Coast time? It's half seven. Half, half seven. seven East Coast time. And I uh, just put my email in the chat. Okay. So, so if you want to join I, us. Can I please ask a question? Susquana has me puzzled all day long. It's a place name, I take it. Oh, what yeah, we're, we're by the Susquehanna River, so uh, which, which goes through Harrisburg uh, on its way to the Chesapeake Bay. So we are oh, kind of named that's... after the river. And it's no, also a university, no. which I am a graduate of. Also, I was uh, uh, all set up at 10 o'clock this morning. <laughs> Till I realized it was. Oh, late. that's right. <laughs> uh, yeah, I do. So, so I'm where are you, Bern? I'm in County Monaghan. Jesus, I'm neither in the Great nor the Pale, nor <laughs> we're, we're the lost, lost country. Hey, I've been listening to Scarlet Day doing that beautiful version of Bon Knick Erino. Because of all the gorgeous uh, harmonies, I couldn't pick out the melody, but I've got oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That says it all. Yeah. <laughs> well, Scarabray has a lot to answer for. <laughs> I know, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah that's the first time so I've heard that problem. But... Jess, I presume you're the, the main organizer here. Thank you. Beautiful. Yeah, yeah, you, you're welcome. I'm just going to say a few additional thank yous. And then if people want to stay on and chat for just a few minutes, I think that'd be fine. Uh, again, thank you so much for our three artists. It was such an interesting day and so beautiful, all the music and, and so comic too, with lots and lots of fun. So thank you to uh, Seamus Carmichael, Dahi Sparol and Mairead Niwini. Uh, <laughs> I've been practicing That's that it. name all day Thank today, you. so I do my best. Sorry, as I get tired, I get worse probably. <laughs> and also a big thank you to no. our tech people, uh, Hank Imhoff and Laurie Brandenburg, Amy Skillman, uh, our folklorist who sadly couldn't be with us today, but really assisted a lot with content. We wish her a quick recovery and the National Endowment for the Arts for the funding. This was part of the CARES Act uh, uh, dollars through through COVID. So we're really appreciative. Uh, that allows us to make these fantastic programs free to the public. So uh, big thank you. And uh, if you guys are all right with the saying hi for a few minutes, that's fine. And we, I'll leave it open for just a few minutes or so. I just want to thank you as well. Thank you very much for having me. And I, I really feel privileged to be part of this. Uh, it was It's just exciting to be oh. able to talk to you across the water, you know, here I am in Donegal, it's nine o'clock at night or near enough. And uh, thank you very much for having me. I really appreciate it. Uh, you added so much, you just were fantastic. So thank Bye. you. All right, anyone who want to say a few things or are we ready to oh, sign uh, off? I, I, I'd like to, uh, to <laughs> say thank you to all the folks that uh, participated. And uh, I, I mean, I knew a, a handful of them from our area here and uh, I even got to say uh, hello, Rory, to my son, Rory Dahi Carmichael on the West Coast side of it as well. So thank you. Thank you for providing the uh, platform. Um, I just wanted to say in, in closing that uh, uh, although COVID and lockdown has not been a great deal of fun for most people, uh, as a singer, I've appreciated having the chance to do Zoom sings and Zoom performances. And it has hooked me up with so many wonderful and interesting singers around the world, people from as far away as Australia that I've had the, the pleasure of hearing sing uh, in, in uh, the Sunnyside Singers uh, Club online um, Zoom sessions. And uh, uh, quite a few of the ones from Ireland as well that have popped into that has been, it's been an education for me and a, and a, and a, a privilege as well. So we got to expand our repertoire and uh, hear lots of other great singers singing the songs. Yeah, wonderful. Any any other last words or are we ready to sign off?
Well, I, I just think wanna... somebody oh. should sing us out. I mean, it's really, be really cool to leave it. I like know. This. I just hey. wanted to ask, Mairead, you didn't sing Glass and Glass We Door. I will <laughs> surely, I'll do that. <laughs> I will surely. My pleasure. It's a song my father wrote, uh, in case some of you don't know. I want to say hello to Marie Shields as well. She's part of my singing or my fiddle um, class and John is as well, John Shields. But Glantel Noski Dorsa song of immigration, of course, so um, my father wrote it many years ago. It's lining slave to we hear the hum thy own and all. I guess it's lining in your gold and the stew was come clear as coal. Nor a luash, Misha Hartley, Loch and Louis. Go kunyan siglan na li, mo yevi glan tang las kidor is pag narvish muhri. Et has chal do ma frit krik glan do wing san wo kisher mohu. Nier vish to do rele brun is legre, Gorasa hill mishesu. Go medica sheer a vim mohirial, a water narica war. Dagmas lan of Oshal, Igdunangal, Siglam Tanglas Ridor, Slan Slan go for Lagunangal, a hum thy head can smile. As the heart of Red Manre, Naru. Yar of all. the gaffer is camry, scapish to burgess more. the bioboan can work can ruam, valiam tan Thank you. Just wonderful. So thank you to everybody. This was fantastic. Thank you. All right.